starting to rain. I better get to the park real quick because that's going to keep me dry. beautiful out like it is actually beautiful right like i'm not just in some sort of denial right like i think this weather is beautiful it's windy as fuck it's not cold it's not cold and it's not too hot it's not sunny and my eyes are not squinting it's, it's actually really good weather you know this overcast nice soft uh balanced lighting and everything Dream, or is it Merde, or Weird? Right, so uh, I just kept walking west on Queen Street West until I couldn't walk no more. There was like a McDonald's. Um, construction stopped the road from going west, and then I would go south towards uh, towards Lake Ontario. I would cross the street, cross the bridge, and then kept walking west. And uh, yeah, there's basically, this is, here's the boardwalk, right? I would just keep walking west. And then, uh, yeah, I would see that big ass triangle landmark. And boom, calisthenics park. And then I believe, I believe if you keep heading west, like another 20, 30 minutes or something like that, there'll be another calisthenics park, maybe longer than that. But you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go to the other one today. You know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a set here. And then I'm gonna do another set over there. I'm gonna go like, do a set, do a little walk, and then do another set and just, Work out over there, huh? That sounds amazing. Let's right, do ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, so here we are at the Calisthenics Park. It's near Lake Ontario. How beautiful is that? It's so nice to finally meet you, Lake Ontario. I've heard so much about you since grade two social studies. I've colored you in a map to color light blue with Crayola. But now I see that you're actually greenish. My bad. <laughs> bump 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 bump
Look at that. Ain't she a beauty?
Alrighty, had a pretty good workout and uh, worked up a nice appetite. So let's head up McDick's. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see what's open. It's like, what, 8.43, 8.42? My internal clock is saying. Oh yeah, let's go check out what's good to eat on Queen Street. I don't know if I mentioned this before, okay? But like everything's fancier in Toronto. I'm not kidding, like parks, they're called parkettes, all right? My hostel is called a hostelier, okay? Like a hostelierie or something. Host H is really a, lot, a big word. H-O-S-T-E-L-L-I-E-R-E-R-E-R-I-R-E-R. -E 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 Hostellerie is like very fancy, man. Um, and then all the no frills, it's like, it's not just no frills. It's like Anthony's no frills or like Bob and Sandra's and the convenience stores. They're like, seriously, they're like Kim's convenience and uh whatever john's convenience i mean that's not fancy but that that's kind of cool though i like it because it gives us kind of like this local feel like you're supporting local business owners as opposed to be like oh i'm just gonna go to a, a chain and support these big chains it's not it's like these are sole proprietors or something you know what i mean it's like these are these franchisees these these mom and pops it feels like that so you're supporting local so i think that's a really good marketing strategy actually they should probably bring that back to Vancouver. Like, just put like, you know, Jags no frills, or like, I don't know, Wong's Superstore or some shit. You know, then you feel like you're supporting a local guy, and then they they have more pride and they take ownership because their name is literally not behind it, I guess, but it's on front of it. So I guess not literally, but their name is behind it. You know what I mean? Holy shit, everything's closed. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm gonna starve to death. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna find some food. Maybe I'll get some instant noodles from Dollarama or something like that. Um, I've got some like shredded cabbage and carrots and stuff that I can still like uh, cook up with my instant noodles to make it nice and healthier. Yeah, I might do that. This is called Vegetarian Delight. Oh yeah. Really nice owners. Uh, they speak like Vietnamese, I think Mandarin and Cantonese as well. Pretty good. Check it out. <laughs> 